mesoderm and its derivatives. First let us see the derivatives from the paraxial mesoderms. It forms the skeletal muscles of the human trunk, the limbs, the head and neck of the human body. It also forms then the extraocular muscles of our eye which includes the superior rectus, inferior rectus, medial rectus, lateral rectus, the superior oblique and the inferior oblique. Then it forms the intrinsic muscles of our tongue which includes the superior longitudinal muscle, the inferior longitudinal, the transverse and the vertical muscles. Dermis of the skin is also formed by the paroxysmal mesoderm. The dermis contains the connective tissues, the blood vessels, oil and sweat glands and the hair follicles. Finally, it also forms the vertebrae and the ribs. Coming to the intermediate mesoderm, it connects the paraxial mesoderm with the lateral prate mesoderm and then finally differentiate into its urogenital structures. It forms the kidneys, the testes in the males and ovaries in the females, the genital duct in both the genders and also the adrenal cortex. The lateral prate mesoderm splits into the parietal and the visceral layers. The formation of these layers starts with the appearance of the intracellular cavities. It initially forms the sternum and the lymph bones. The parietal layer forms the pleura, pericardium and the peritoneum within the body. The layers of the gastrointestinal tract is also formed by the lateral prate mesoderm which includes the lamina propria, the muscularis mucosae, the submucosa and the muscularis externa. It then forms the cardiovascular system in our body, the lymphatic system of the body and finally the laryngeal cartilages.